Hi, and welcome again to the RCTOHobby.com video channel. I'm here today with one of the newer 2.4 GHz radios from Red Cat Racing. This is the 3-channel crawler radio, as you see here. This comes with the Rockslide RS10 XT. It also comes with the 1 8 scale super crawler. And this is also, you see above it, this is the E710 receiver that comes standard with it. For any 2.4 gigahertz radio and receiver system, the receiver needs to be bound to the radio. When you buy a ready-to-run vehicle, including the ones from Red Cat Racing, or if you buy ones from uh, Traxxas or other makers as well, they've already been bound together at the factory, so you don't have to do that. However, if you decide to upgrade the radio system in your existing car, or if you have a problem with the receiver and you need to replace the receiver, then you'll need to be able to bind the receiver that you are using to your new transmitter in order to operate your car. And that's what we're going to discuss today. The older models that came out, there used to be an actual binding uh, key or a small cable that you had to plug in to the receiver in order to uh, bind the receiver together with the radio. And the newer ones that are coming out now from Red Cat Racing, including the E710 that you see in front of you, are actually use a button system to bind. So you don't have to plug anything, uh, you don't have to plug a binding cable uh, into the receiver. Okay, so let's take a close look at the E710 receiver. See there are several channels, channel 1, 2, 3, and 4 from top to bottom. There's also uh, an LED, which is here, and then right next to it, this is a bind button. So it's next to the LED, kind of under this notch. And it's a little bit hard to see at first. You might not notice it unless you're looking, but this is the bind button. So when you want to bind this receiver to one of the 2.4 gigahertz radios from Red Cat Racing, you're going to turn on the car while you're pressing this button. So why don't we go do that?